Yes, sir, we officially back at it. Another episode of Meantime in Between Time. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you're going to vote down, at least have the balls to say why you're voting down. Back to work. Spent a couple hours a day doing a little arts and craft. Starting to construct something on the top of the case up here. Turn this into the top of a of a building. Um, got some 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 nice plans. This is all everything that I've been doing over the past couple of meantime in between times. I've just been buying buying some time, waiting for some things in the mail so I could do a a big display update. Um, uh, so you've been seeing a lot of bits and pieces of things that I'm uh, um, that's going to be uh, for a larger, larger display update. But uh, I put together a little billboard here for the top of the building. So you got some graffiti and stuff up there, some little different things. You'll see this again in the in the daylight. It's nighttime here right now, so. But um, I think that came out pretty decent. I'm going to add a little more detail to the to the billboard. See, I got the the base here. I might put some a little gate or something up there to make it uh look more official. But this is the beginning stages here. This is not even what I had in mind, but I just want to give it a shot real quick. Try something real quick. This is not even what I'm using, but just messing around a little bit here. I got a totally different idea for up here, and I gotta add some more detail around the side, but. I got Spidey swinging the Green Goblin into the into towards the billboard right there. Can't really see that cut out, but it's saying, "Oh no, 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 no!" Sorry, that was like the worst sound effect ever, but you understand. Actually, should have got him up a little bit higher, so it looked like he's actually going in toward it. But like I said, this was just me messing around right here. Plus, Spidey's arm should be up a little higher to, to show that he's really, really swinging him up there. You know, trying to make the motions look fluid. I think I got Green Goblin pretty good. He doesn't really have a a torso. Uh, I ab joint, so I couldn't really get him kind of crunched down or really look like he's flying. But the fact that his uh, hands are open and the feet is kind of the way propped the way they are, it's, it's good. It's a good look. That's what happens when you have ADD. This is not even the scene that I'm supposed to be doing, but just messing around with the the way Spidey's supposed to be pulling him. I didn't know if I want to pull on them or kind of toss on them, so I'm just working with a couple of different ideas while I construct the top of the building. But again, this is not even an original idea that I had. I'll get around to that. But ADD. I actually like this Green Goblin. I don't know if I necessarily like it better than this one. I don't like the fact that you can't remove the uh, pumpkin bomb from this one, but this one is like the real nice classic look. This one uh, looks a little more realistic. I like the the, the goggles. Uh, on this one, which is pretty cool. I mean, obviously, if you're flying in the air, you're going to need something to protect your eyes or what have you. I mean, this guy's got a mask, so either or the, the uh, one and the little Iron Man <clears throat> parts fits perfectly in there. So anybody who has this green goblin, that's a little something for you. <laughs> Still working on this a little bit, adding the cutouts. I got some gunshots and stuff that I need to, uh, to add on there. Messing around here. Still trying to build the, the top of the building here. It looks more like a street right now, though. A little arms deal going on. Just some vanilla posing. I mean, that's the basis of any good poses. If you could get some nice vanilla poses where the feet is planted and everything looks, looks good, then... 
you could build off of that and start doing some more intricate things. But you know the U.S. is dealing arms to everybody. Trying to get Hulk and Ghost Rider in the face off. It won't be up here, but uh, you saw me test the, the bike out on the stand without Ghost Rider. I added Ghost Rider to it. Just testing, testing out the uh, the uh, the specs here, making sure they're kind of looking at each other, what have you. I didn't add the chain on the Ghost Rider yet. These guys actually did face off during uh, during the World War Hulk um, um, storyline. It was in the Ghost Rider comic. Two, it was two issues. Um, so I'm gonna do a little something with that. See, I got the flames and stuff. This is real rough. But, uh, get Apocalypse facing off with some X Men and something soon. Let's just testing this out. Taking a quick moment to get some cutouts together. Unfortunately, my, my camera quality is not that great, and sometimes you guys can't even see the cutouts. But I will upgrade my camera over the holiday season. Usually I have it at this little intermediate stage where it's just a sheet of some ones I want to use. And I just be holding on to it for so long before I cut it out. But I try to take like a Saturday and, and do as much as, as possible. Um, but yeah, definitely the small scissors is the best for, for cutting it real close to the edges and, and getting it looking nice without a lot of excess on the side. And I use double-sided tape too to stick mine on. Abomination with the flash. So yeah, took a moment to construct another Spidey uh, web here. I'm gonna use this for that for that little scene, even though that's not the scene that I really want to use for up top on the case. But you know, the twisty ties is the best for the Spidey webs. Testing out some more. About to head out to Toys R Us and try to pick up a few more armors that I saw there that I don't have. This is just a few of my armors. There's still maybe like uh, 10 other ones that I don't have right here. But I was just putting them here just to catalog what I have. When I was counting all my figures and stuff. Still got some that's in the package that I didn't even open yet. Still figuring out what I'm doing here. I hit up Toys R Us. I didn't find the armors I was looking for, but I got another uh, tech deck base. Um, I didn't find some accessories that I wanted to kind of make the building top, so I kind of scrapped that idea for now. I really wanted to, to figure that out. Now this kind of looks more like the side of a highway or something like that, but just figuring out different things, different bases, backdrops. Still messing around here, but this is the long process that happens sometimes where I'm testing out a hundred different things to figure out one good display. But you know, that's the point of meantime in between time, just showing you the process of working and building and adding things. Little kid there, seeing Spider Man facing off against Green Goblin, he's saying, Whoa! And Goblin laughing. Alright y'all, this has been another episode of Meantime and Between Time. I believe this is my fifth episode, or, or five and a half, something like that. Uh, and I've been getting a, a real nice response to these videos, so I will continue to do them. Um, but in the new year, things will be much more organized. I, I'm in the process of, of cleaning up my channel and getting a, a lot of things situated. I've been doing that for the past couple of months, so if you guys notice, some, some videos have been disappearing. Uh, if you notice my, my intro music changed, this is all for 
uh, the push to uh, to get full partner. Uh, you know, select videos of mine have have gone up for revenue sharing, but uh, I'm just trying to get my my channel uh, much more organized and, and and make sure I keep y'all y'all guys fed in the meantime. So, in the next uh, in the new year, I, I will be putting out um, much more solid material and uh, a good a good healthy dosage of, of things, marvelous things to keep your mouth watering and all that good shit. Um, so just keep checking for book, man. And uh, until next time, peace.